I'm going to speak about um, a little bit of everything. I'm going to talk about, I guess generally speaking, being a scientist and playing one on television, uh, with a little bit of an emphasis towards being a woman in science and some of the extra um, challenges and joys of being a woman in science. I think we all need to do a lot of work to sort of level the playing field in terms of interest level and in terms of kind of our commitment to, to having girls feel equally represented. Um, and that's kind of what I'll be talking about tonight, that I didn't grow up in an environment that was very supportive of girls being into STEM or um, really into anything besides, you know, the humanities. And um, so I think part of it is sort of changing the way we think about how we educate boys and girls in general, um, but also paying extra special attention to the things that um, might be interesting to girls that they may not know about in terms of careers in STEM and kind of what your life can look like in STEM. I was a child actor, um, so it was more a return to acting. So I left the industry for 12 years. I was on a show when I was younger and then I left the industry for 12 years. Um, so it was still you know, kind of jarring. I had a, a toddler and a baby um, and so I started auditioning again, which is an interesting story, I think it's interesting, which I'll tell later. Um, but yeah, it was more of a return, so it was less shocking. It wasn't like, oh, let's get a PhD, and then, oh, I'll try acting, because <laughs> that sounds crazy. 